I have gone nowhere. A message received by Seema Duan, April 25th, 2011. May Bhagawan be with you always. He already has and will always be. Baba has left a wealth of truth that no avatar has left behind. While we are focused on our worldly duties which never end to our last breath, we must keep him as our background, as our forefront, as our roof of protection, and as our vision. As long as the heart is pure and there is no selfishness, the way ahead will be clear. We have trouble making decisions only because the thread between the mind and the heart becomes weak and pulls us to do things that may be convenient. The test lies when one is able to break this invitation of ease and be led instead by that which is true, which is right, which is soulful, and which emits the love that Baba taught us to live with. I saw him in the morning today in the children's room. He was sitting on the chair as though it was a completely normal day. I asked him, why do I feel so much pain in my heart, even though I see you? He smiled and replied, even I get attached to the body of my own self, wherever there is bhakti, nishta, and sabudu, devotion, faith, and patience. As much as you are attached to me, I am attached to you. Even though I can watch over you without showing myself to you, I show myself to you, sometimes in thought, sometimes in a dream, sometimes in a vision, sometimes by word, and sometimes as you see me. I show all that to you only because I too enjoy your devotion toward me. My heart too leaps when you fill with joy. I too cry when you cry, and when you smile, I fill myself with you. I believe in you more than you ever can know. I have wept for several years. I have known that you place yourselves in me. And even when your mind sways, you come running to me asking me to save you from yourself. I always have, and I always will. Remember that in every moment of your life, I am one step ahead. If you fully realize that and utilize it, its strength, you will reach your goal, and my will shall shine and give you the joy that you had walked with faith and devotion and completed my task. You must believe in yourself, just like you have believed in me. You must love the purity in yourself, just like you have loved my purity. You must know that nothing wrong can ever happen. Where have I gone? Where can I ever go? I am stationed in you as much as you are stationed in me. That is what I willed when existence began. And my bond with you shall remain until the very end and beginning of all times. You are mine, and you must never forget that. And I am always yours, even when you forget that I remember that I belong to you and celebrate our oneness. As much as you come toward me without a question, as much as you lean toward my purity and make it yours, as much as you confirm and affirm my presence in you, as much as you can do that, that much you shall see that all of the universe is my form, my body, my will, and everything that comes in this orbit is placed by my will and my love for you.
You are undergoing the pain, for your mind has begun to believe in my end of this body. It is making you weep. It is making you desperate. It is making you plunge in despair. But always remember that your heart will not keep quiet for long. The words of truth that I have placed within you and all of the universe shall translate from the cosmos, and every being of you shall radiate its strength carrying back the mind of the supreme task whose trails of crumbs I have left behind in every corner of the world. I have gone nowhere. Know that to be the absolute truth. I am there where you are, and if you have forgotten yourself, then you shall see me not, even though I am watchful of every moment, now and forever. Remain in joy. Capture the bliss of myself that I have gifted to you and graced you with. Tears are the instruments of the weakful mind. That is not your walking stick. Neither is it the glasses that you shall see with. Everything belongs to me, and I belong to everyone. The devoted hearts with a pure mind and a loving heart shall call me from time to time. They alone, with the strength of your purity, shall make me once again visible to the world. And I will come once again with my hands full. You must believe in my word, for whatever I say never goes to waste. Whatever I say becomes truth. Always remember me. Know that I am before you. Free yourself from emotion and await my return.